This Let's Play contains commentary that some may find offensive or perverted. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome oh. back to Hotful Boyfriend. Where we now have a yellow bird. Yep. Oh god, I can see his nostrils. <laughs> so gross. Her <laughs> nostrils. <laughs> oh oh my gosh, I didn't realize that's what, what those were. Ew. <laughs> they look so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I hate face. Is that a girl or a boy? Boy. Okay. Y'all get a new girl? A human? A... Bud... Budgerigar? Bud... Rieger? Budgerigar? Budgerigar? Ah, screw it. A, a blood budgie. <laughs> a budgie steps in the door. <laughs> budgie! Budgerigar? I don't know. The first customer of my life, a young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. I was hoping for some birdie who'd raise a few more flags. Maybe a white peacock. Huh. I hear peacocks give really good spankings, that's why I wanted one. <laughs> kind of flag. <laughs> to come in. Raised. Welcome! Would you like a bath? With my tongue or a meal? Wow! A I, body. <laughs> I've never been to a cafe that offers baths. I've been going to the wrong ones, apparently. <laughs> That's good service. <laughs> How much for the happy ending bath? Take me out, uh, in the, uh, take me out back and spank me. <laughs> spank me with your feet. Uh, or maybe you'd like, or, or maybe you're into men and would like Mr. Rushihara. Doyle! I'll take Kenziboru. Hey, wait just a minute now. <clears throat> yes, a perfect delayed reaction. I have no clue what's going on right now, but I'm amused. I don't, I don't really understand what's going on either. Oh, hello, Rabu. This is Rabu, Miss Fwappy, a regular customer. I'm something of an important figure here. See this card? 206 stamps. Um... Okay. Do you get those stamps here? <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal. <clears throat> Amazing. That you're so lame. Is he a cafe addict? He's He must be addicted to caffeine. I think he comes for the special baths. Yeah, probably. <laughs> hey, what was <clears throat> with that when I came in? Um, I, I'm just uh, really... I'm so sorry. I really should have taken it, taken care of it before I got here. But I wanted yep. to make a good impression, so it'll have to wait unless you're interested. We mm. humans are in heat all year round. <clears throat> I wanted to provoke that reaction out of someone with a Kansai accent since I was a little girl. Oh, Kansai, huh? Ka oh, Kansai? Got it. <clears throat> What's the Kansai accent like? Mmm, think Brooklyn. Think Brooklyn mixed with rural, sort of. Really? Sort of. Kind of. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Rabu. Thanks to you, my dream has come true and I can die happy. Y'all lost me on the roadside there. Well, that's how it is. Flap it right. That seat there is my private property. Y'all remember that now. <laughs> and he's pointing a wing to our butt. <laughs> right? That's <clears throat> my property. 
I was going to claim that booty. <laughs> oh, yes, Master Rabu. <laughs> Rabu Babu. Rabu Rabu Babu. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Just look at Bad this. Girl. Girl. Bad girl. Bad girl. Stop being dirty. Street theme. <clears throat> Hey, bird. Where have you hey. been, bird? I missed you, bird. <laughs> a new encounter in the late in the little bird cage. Today is a good day. I shall make some coffee to celebrate. Shouldn't I be working? Please sit down, both of you. And so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of coffee. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? Apparently not. Apparently not. Apparently the... Yes. Uh, I wish my a manager th what, would hire me and be that, you know, lax or whatever. I stayed out on the... <clears throat> I stayed on, out on the town for too long and it's late. Well, well, on my, own of, on my well, own, of course. Well. Riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about. Why is this turning into a film noir story? <laughs> uh, I think this is a guy. They they look like I, I don't know. Hey he, hey human. Hey human. Burning. Well, suddenly I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkempt pigeons with eye patches. <gasps> Punctions apparently. <laughs> You go to St. Pigeon Nations, don't you? Why do you sound like the Godfather? <laughs> and why are you wearing an eye patch? Oh wait, I think those are sunglasses. But it's nighttime. What do you need them for? So I'm blind. You got a problem with that? They don't look this like blind pigeon glasses. This is my twin brother. I bet a rich little girl like you gets a lot of pocket money from daddy, huh? From now on, you work for me. You walk the streets every night. You give me 90%. I but, give you a 5% cut. But I haven't mentioned my family this entire game, so I think they're dead. They lost in the pigeon <clears throat> war. And let me introduce you to my triplet. Rich little girl going to fancy school. Thinks she's so great. <laughs> Darn it. Darn it, I... I can't tell them apart. Oh. I can pick Ryota out of a crowd about 80% of the time, but rock doves I've just met all, all look the same. <clears throat> Do you have some business with me? If not, go away. I will not be your working girl. Hey, that's not nice. Show us some cash first. And some ass. <laughs> Show us <laughs> cash. <laughs> they buff up their chests. Threateningly. Oh no, they cast a buff spell. <laughs> Dumb punks. <clears throat> are we picking on the girls in the park is a good way to get ostracized for life. I have a question. Are all the birds in this game human sized or normal sized? I was wondering because like well, why don't you just drop by, kick them? Yeah, <laughs> she's surrounded by these tiny pigeons at her feet. <laughs> just punt them. Gosh. <laughs> What? What? You little... I'm so They're angry. angry now. My hunter-gatherer instincts can feel a fight coming. Shouldn't it be her fight-or-flight thing <clears throat> kicking in? I don't know. They, they go on her hunter-gatherer instincts in this game. I don't get it either. Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? I, seems I think like if I kick the middle one, he'll knock the other two over. My this shoe might like, be big enough. <coughs> this is like one of the situations one of your many role-playing game characters seems to get in. 
Yeah, and, and she always loses these situations, <laughs> it seems. At least the most recent one has. <clears throat> oh, my guest, um, S cubed, I shall call him. Uh, slam. <laughs> slam. Is that a uh, punch sound? We we do tabletop games. He, he's he's usually the GM. But I, I I I sometimes GM, but I'm not very good at it. Thud. <clears throat> and she killed them all yeah. gruesomely. The work of a moment. Somebody flits forward, and in the blink of an eye, the doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. So doves and pigeons <laughs> are the same thing, right? Uh, I learned that. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Oh, wow, are there little pigeons driving these cars now? Or, Apparently. Or birds in there, you think? I think so. Huh. Looming majestically over the fallen doves is... Tuxedo Mask Bird! Oh, it's that sick. That was close, Flappy. Are you sure you should be out this late? I imagine her rolling over them. What the... F who are you? McCall? Me? Well... I'm a working girl. They call me Thunder Thighs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm Sunset Beak. They call me Sunset Beak. Um, I'm a passing ta takoyaki lady. The takoyaki don't screw with us. Do you know what takoyaki is? Basically, like octopus balls, so like round things with like octopus meat in, in oh. it. Oh. Yep. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. I've never had it, so I can't say. I'll send you some. This. May not be that good by the time <laughs> you get it. No, probably not. Oh, that reminds me. I have the raccoon now, the stuffed raccoon. Oh, I'll send it to you uh, soon. All right. If I send it now, maybe it, it'll come in time for your birthday. Yay. <clears throat> They're stubborn. Here they come. Battle music. There actually is music going on, but you can't hear it because screen share is mean like that. Yeah. We're not going to take this from a finch and a human. I am a sparrow. Thank you very much. Take this. And he pulls out a gun. Stuff just got real. Not done yet, huh? I'll teach you chicks a lesson. Spedo kick! Oh, I'm so imagining an epic it's battle so of cool. little tiny. Your, your sparrow kick is super cool, Izami. I've never had these feelings about a female before, but I'm feeling something. Underwear so wet and sticky. <laughs> Did I sit in the ketchup again? <laughs> don't just don't don't, don't, don't relax yet. just yet. This is where the real fight starts. The police were called due to a domestic disturbance. Uh, apparently, a fight broke out <laughs> in the streets last night in Pigeon City. Everyone was arrested. <laughs> Azami fluttering magnificently under the glow of the neon lights, and me gleefully punching the daylights out of the punctions in the junk. Fighting back to back, now that's trust. Wait a minute, you just you just said she was flying, so you're you're probably not back to back. She's fluttering all majestically. Come on, you're punching stuff. Oh, it's the summer festival now? Today's the summer festival. I think I will. I'll go with some birdie. I love how it just cuts so suddenly. Like, that's yeah. that's the fight. It's just like, Invite. yeah. Invite. Okay, this is important. This is important. <clears throat> uh, Yota Sakuya okay. Nageki! Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let me, let's go to this. 
Ryota is the loser. Sakya is <laughs> the jerk. Nageki, that's the teacher, right? Nageki oh, is er, Batbird. Oh, he's the library goon. Yeah. San, San is, is Okasan. All right, that's Pudding Face. And yeah. who's Kazu again? That's the brother? That's the teacher. Oh, that's the sleepy teacher. The, the brother is Yuya. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Ryota is well, we were... kind of a loser. <laughs> uh, uh, Sakya is a jerk. jerk. Nageki, that's Library Face. He's kind yeah. of cool for me. I don't care for Pudding Guy. I'm kind of interested in the teacher guy who went back to your house. It's between those two for me. It's, well, uh, oh, we, let's we were for, going for Nageki's ending, so... Well, alright, let's go with Library Boy. Okay. He'll bring some books. I'll <laughs> invite Nageki. He needs some... Uh, he needs to get out more. <clears throat> I just get uh, off. I don't know his address or phone number. Doesn't matter, I don't have a phone. look in the library if the school anyway. weren't already closed. Now that I think about it, I only know him as the depressed freshman who's always in the library. Li library. Library. Do you think she has a phone in the cave? Yeah, um, in one of the... Huh. In one of the routes. Yeah, let's go with the routes. Um, she, she has a phone and she leaves it in like a lab, in, in like a chemistry lab or something. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> I'd like to learn more about him though. He'd probably never tell me anything if I asked. Ah, uh, going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. And by bed, I mean this pile of rocks. In the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, actually, I'm pretty sure it's like straw or something. Time flies, sure flies when I'm in here. See y'all around, Kenzaboru. Oh. Hey, Flappy. Eh? Rabu finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day. Gestures to me on his way out the door. <laughs> Here, this is your tip. <laughs> it's... The magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. What? Is that what they call it now? Apparently. What is this magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka? What? What? So young men from Osaka can do it too? What? Do what? Produce candy? I'm more amazed that he's got pockets in his feathers. See y'all round. Beans. Good day to you, Rabu. Rabu 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 Babu <laughs> Who's that bird that's been sitting on my table all this time? I think it's <laughs> time to close up. <laughs> uh, I think he's an ornament, sir. Oh, who indeed he is. Would you care for something, Fwappe? It won't be as good after sitting overnight. Brano. Is Brano. there any Tonjiru left? Of course. I'm a master of Tonjiru. What's Tonjiru? Yeah. I don't Is know. That... Oh. <laughs> that I don't know. I'm guessing it was like some kind of tea or something. Oh, here you yeah. are. My bad. <clears throat> Have some. What the heck is that? I imagine him holding, awkwardly holding the teacup with his beak, with his head like <laughs> tilted to the side. <laughs> Is that like some kind of stew or something? It looks like there's some kind of meat and maybe carrots and, um... Probably. Like leek or onion bits in there? I don't know. It took me five Ooh. years to learn how to carry that. Tonjiro from, from a fan... oh. Tonjiro from a fancy cup is the best! Mmm. 
Mm. By the way, Mr. Urushihara? Yes? <laughs> Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? He does, yes. Are you two, like, in a relationship? <laughs> I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? A chauffeur, apparently. He is generally out all night. By chauffeur, I mean a gigolo, of course. He likes to come here to relax before work and get a bath. A budgerigar who works at night? There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. I prefer the night. It's like... What time is it? It's like... I can't They're see like, the games in the way of my... I think it should thing. be about 6.30ish for yeah, you. Yeah. It's almost 20 of 7. Your. <laughs> <laughs> did, did my phone vibrate? Did it? I don't know. I didn't hear it until you <laughs> until you said something. There, uh, the moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. I think I'm having an episode. <laughs> Get my pills, darling. They're in the back. <laughs> Rabu is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. Oh, oh dear. It's uh, time for a break. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, everybody.